With only days left to serve as Premier, Mark Rann has again acted to secure an enduring legacy of his time in office. Today he visited the Arkarula Wildlife Sanctuary to talk up this week's introduction of legislation to permanently protect the area from mining. Against the majestic backdrop of Arkarula in the northern Flinders Ranges, Mike Rann has some last business before walking out of the picture. There's 600 square kilometres of extraordinary beauty that needs to be preserved and protected forever. Last week he signed off on the Olympic Dam indenture bill. Introducing the Arkarula Protection Bill to Parliament on Tuesday will be another notch on Mr Rann's legacy belt before he leaves the top job on Thursday, but not the last. We're basically sticking to the schedule, but I've got a few small surprises before I go. The new laws will ban all types of mining and come four years after rubbish was dumped at Mount G by minor Marathon Resources. It's really exciting. Um, I can't say euphoric. Um, the, the day the legislation goes through will, will be that. To elevate its profile, Arkarula was last week provisionally listed on the State Heritage Register. It will now be nominated for National and World Heritage Listing. Anything that we can do to heighten people's awareness of this beautiful area and get them here will be a good thing. While it's a win for the environment, it's a blow to Marathon Resources, which has spent millions of dollars exploring in this area. The company's share price has plummeted over recent months and it's continuing its battle with the state government for compensation. While the sun shone in the north, clouds gathered over another RAN project further south, following questions over whether a $46 million performance incentive given to the builder of the desalination plant will be recouped. Look, the matter of any repayment will be a matter, if there is to be any repayment, between Adelaide Aqua and SA Water. The opposition says first water wasn't delivered on time and the money should be recovered. I mean, there is water flowing but not to the extent of the contractual requirement. So we're looking at a delay of at least 10 months. But with his legacy in check, any fallout won't be one man's concern in four days' time. Caroline Winter, ABC News, Adelaide.